Port Canaveral is running out of space because of the steep demand in cruising. Here's a live look through our camera at Rusty's at the Port. Our Brevard Bureau Chief Scott Heidler was there as Port Leadership announced a plan to build another cruise ship terminal. Essentially, it's a course correction. There was a plan in place for a new terminal in the marina area of the port, but that was going to take way too long. The more we've gotten into that, we realize that that's probably a five to six year project to do it correctly. And the need now for our cruise partners is immediate. So now they are focused on the north side of the port. That's because a new cruise ship terminal here would be a much faster process than down by the marina. That's because there's already a berth here on the north side of the port and can be converted into a cruise ship terminal much more quickly. They're saying by midsummer of 2026. The state of our terminal will require less space than existing terminals due to tech upgrades in the boarding and security process. It include a new parking garage for 3000 cars in a vacant lot nearby. No cost estimate has been released yet. The port is still looking at a project in the marina area, but down the line. The priority is to get the new terminal up and running as industry demand is high and very important for the ports and the state. We haven't turned anything away yet and we're working with one line to do something that might be a little creative for one season, but we're going to get through this and our goal is not to turn any business away and to make sure we retain our cruise partnerships here in Port Canaveral. Port leadership tells us that if this new terminal project was not moving forward, they would have lost business that could have been very likely going outside of Florida. At Port Canaveral, Scott Heidler, West 2 News.